Okay, let's catch up about life. <sighs> Gosh, I'm gonna cry already. Hey everybody, it's Gracie. Not a typical setup, not necessarily a super put together video, but you know what you guys, I am in the midst of moving out of my college apartment. I graduate college this week. Um, things are just getting very emotional and I've prepared myself for this week for the last year, last semester. I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to be done. I do all these things and it's finally coming to a close and I like find myself. <gasps> I find myself thinking about all of these things that have happened in the past four years and just I can't even begin to express my gratitude. I know it sounds cheesy, but for the platform that you guys have supported me through and allowed me to have the past four years, I think about the girl who walked in a freshman year knowing nobody at this school and saying, you know what? I was always like a kid YouTuber. I'm just gonna do it here and being embraced not only online but in person, so many different people and you guys, I get to graduate college and do this. It's my real job. Are you kidding me? It is a dream come true. And just from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you. <laughs> guys, this would have not been possible without all of you guys. And I can't wait to really get a schedule going and really get, oh gosh, all up in it with you guys. And full time. I don't know what exactly that's going to look like right now. The first month, I'm not going to lie, is very hectic. I mean, when is life not? But already I'm moving out this weekend and then this next week I'll be at Disney. I'll have a little bit of time off. I think like two days in Mexico for my sister's wedding venue and all of that. Then I have one day in between. I'm leaving for Spain for two weeks. And what else is going on? Oh my gosh, I come back, my friend Kaylin gets married. So there are a lot of things going on and a lot of you are asking like, what is next? What is up for post-grad? And today I'm just gonna sit down and talk to you guys about this. I do wanna say thank you so much to Upside for partnering with me on this video. I can't wait to share more about Upside and how you guys can earn some cash back with their app. That being said, sponsors like Upside are the reason that I'm able to turn this into my full-time job. My goal is to not have every single video sponsored and I don't want you to think that videos are just there for me to make money. I really do enjoy doing this. That's one disclaimer I do have to have, but my May is very busy. So I just promise that you guys can bear with me. It will all be worth it. Okay, here are the big grad plans. Drum roll, please. Nothing. <laughs> okay, so I've been waiting to kind of tell you guys because I thought maybe I would have some sort of plan formulated or something, but I really don't. To be honest, there's a lot of travels in the first month, and so when I started to look at places I potentially wanted to live, maybe some places down in Florida, I was looking at Nashville a lot. It is so gosh dang expensive to rent an apartment, especially an apartment that I want, which is like two beds, two baths. I want to have an office because last time I had a desk and my computer in here, I just was in my room all the time. I was like, I want a designated workspace, and a designated like chill sleep space. So when I started to look at that and I was looking at the prices, I was like, holy moly, I can't afford to do that and then maybe not be there. So instead of spending thousands and thousands of dollars a month renting an apartment and potentially not being there because I just want to go travel and see the world a little bit, I am renting a storage unit here uh, in Alabama, not in Tuscaloosa, but somewhere a little bit more centrally located in Birmingham. And so then if I decide to move to Nashville once I'm done traveling, it's only three and a half hours up. And if I do decide to live in Florida, I can just drive it down later rather than driving it down now because my worst fear is driving it all the way down there and then having to drive it even farther back up. So I'm just moving it east instead of north or south. I think that's my best option. I'm just putting things in there that I'm like, if I don't see you for six months, I don't see you for six months. Like winter coats and my bed's gonna go in there and this shelf and the shelf that you're sitting on. So the only things pretty much left in my room are going in the storage unit in a couple of days when we move out of here. I obviously didn't wanna take apart my bed and sleep on the floor for the past couple of nights and for the next couple of nights. So those things are staying for the moment. There are also a lot of life events happening that have prevented me from making any solid plans, like planning my sister's bachelorette, planning her bridal shower, her actual wedding. Those things are all a month apart, like August, September, and October. So it's kind of like, I can't go anywhere huge. Um, my original thought was I was gonna go to Bali once they opened up their borders, which they have for like a couple of months and just live out there and, and you know, have the beach life and something in that aspect. But if I'm gonna make that big trip, I'm gonna be over there for a while and that just doesn't seem like it's possible within the next couple of months. 
maybe sometime in between like June 11th. I'm free June 11th to technically Hannah's bridal shower in August. So like maybe I could do something in that point, but you know, we'll just see where life takes us if I'm going to be down in Palm Beach for a little. I know you guys love that content, so we're definitely going to have some more of that coming up. Basically, I wanted to kind of sit here and just give you a rundown of like, my week has been so busy. I haven't even been on social media at all. People are like, Gracie, did you die? Like, where are you? You're graduating this week. And I'm like, all I've been doing is moving stuff around and donating. And there will be a move out video, probably two parts at this point because it's just a lot of dang stuff. One of the main questions I get asked a lot and one of the big things that people want to know is how I can afford to travel the way that I do at such a young age and still in college. And there are a lot of factors that play into that. One of them being that my job is on the go so I can take my vlog camera and go anywhere and create content and be able to monetize that content. So that has been a big thing for me, but also saving money and knowing like where to spend and where to save your money is a huge thing for me. I want to talk to you guys really quickly about an app called Upside. I promise I would be talking about them if I didn't use them and love them. You guys, you can get cash back on this app. I'm going to tell you how it works. If you're a college student or somebody who wants to travel, you can save money and get cash back and use all that money and put it towards your travel fund like keep a separate funds account for that and go and do that and trust me that's how you're gonna be able to save up to go time wise you're gonna have to figure out what your schedule looks like in order to give yourself that time off or take that time off such as spring break or Christmas break or Thanksgiving break things like that you just gotta not be afraid to go travel by yourself because not everybody wants to go with you and I've learned that too. If you buy gas, you get groceries, you dine out, you definitely want to get upside. I'm gonna just show you the app on my phone. All you simply have to do is check in and pay and you can get your cash back up to three times more cash back than you would through any credit card. For example, I have 50 offers nearby, such as 16 cents a gallon cash back on regular gas, 7% cash back at a place called Fruitables that we love to go to, all kinds of places where you can save. And it's pretty simple, once you check in, you pay as usual and then you're gonna get your cash back and that can either go straight to your bank account to PayPal or you can get an e-gift card to places like Amazon or other online retailers it's not too good to be true it's a no-brainer and trust me I save money all the time I have all these different rewards I can claim at gas stations food places things like that that cash back helps so much all of the little things add up when you're trying to get to go to travel. Plus, Upside can be trusted. They have 4.8 stars on the App Store. So that just tells you that they are very reliable. Really simple to get started. You can just go to the app, Google Play Store, download the Upside app. And then once you're in there, you can use my promo code Gracie to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. I'm telling you when it comes to saving all the little money that you don't think about adds up like all of that cash back on your gas on your groceries on eating out you're definitely going to want to be able to have that and then when you get the check or the payout or the gift card to somewhere you'll be like man i'm so glad i was using that like i was mentioning before it takes a lot to solo travel and it's a little scary at first i definitely know after my freshman year i moved to belgium as an au pair and i did a lot of solo travel over there but it's always fun to have friends so in this post-grad time, I want to kind of figure out maybe how I can create groups where girls can go on trips together. Like if you're afraid to solo travel to places, I still don't know how that's going to work out yet. But if you're interested in that, leave a comment down below. I'm going to try and figure out logistics that might not be right away. But I know even for myself, I don't mind solo traveling at all. But it is always fun to have someone else, to have somebody else to take your pictures, share the memories with, make sure that you feel safe in other countries. So we'll see if we can get something like that started. I think that that could be really great and a great way to not only meet new friends, but meet new friends who have similar interests of liking to travel. I mean, you can do trips that are bougie or budget friendly and be able to find your group of girls that want to do that with you and just make sure that you can hold each other accountable for saving up enough money for those trips. How does that sound? Just an idea. In addition to figuring out post-grad stuff for myself, it's just, there's just been a lot going on and it's so stressful, so I'm just ready to kind of be a little bit more stress-free maybe. We'll see what we can do about things. It's definitely making me really sad to look around and see all the boxes and like my little Kayla is coming over later to say goodbye because she has to leave. She's done with finals. Uh, it's just really weird. So normally it's like, oh, see you this summer or like see you in the fall and it just, there's no guarantee at that point for college seniors. I truly have had through all of the ups and downs an incredible four years here at the University of Alabama and sometimes it hurts my heart to see like tours and even just girls moving out of Tutwiler the other day. I was like, oh, I have so 
so much time. Like I savor every second because people told me that and I listened, but I don't think I listened hard enough because it's tough, but you know what? Looking back at the past four years and being able to have these fond memories and these things that I love just showed that I really do belong here. I picked a good school, I know it. Forever grateful for that little rush video that blew up one day that I made for fun and you know, really just sparked an entire group of people at Empire and also a semester at sea. And for that re-blowing up my account yet again, it has been a wild ride these past four years and I couldn't ask for anything better to have come out of college. I came into college thinking I was gonna be like the CMO of Lily Plitzer when I graduated. And it's crazy to me how much can change and it's not that I don't love it anymore. I don't work there anymore and I don't get that nice employee discount. So I'm kind of like, oh, I can't look at the clothes and buy them full price. I'm so sorry. I really can't. I won't, you know, reveal the discount or anything, but let me just say, like, I look at that and I'm like, mm -mm, can't do it. Anyway, I just want to sit down and thank you guys and also just kind of talk about a couple things that I've been getting a lot recently, such as like what I'm doing after college, how I'm saving up money to do that. And I felt like I haven't really talked to you guys. I've been vlogging a lot. All that footage is gonna be sorted out a little bit later, but I haven't really sat and just let my thoughts kind of run out of my mouth, which is so therapeutic. I feel like I'm talking to friends, although I'm staring at a camera lens. I know that on the other side of the screen, you know, a couple days after I'm filming this, like somebody's gonna, or maybe in years down the line, somebody's gonna see it and maybe relate or just kind of get a good feel for, for what's going on. It's nice to have something like that in my life and I'm just so grateful that I bought a camera oh, four years ago. <laughs> Sorry I'm so sappy and emotional. I'm trying not to be, but it's just an emotional time of the year. There will be lots of tears. I don't even want to think about filming my graduation vlog. <laughs> I don't even know I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, just give me a second. Let me collect my thoughts. Well, my shelf is now gone. <laughs> I honestly just started really crying yesterday. I never collected my thoughts. Um, today's graduation day. <laughs> it's literally insane. And you know, I finally have to finish up this video uh, because I want to get it up sooner for you guys. Just thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything. I'm going to try not to cry again because I don't want to be crying all day today. But really, truly, these have been the best four years of my life. And I just can't wait to take you guys along. If you have any more questions about post grad or anything else, like that, you can leave them down below. And, th and seriously, thank you guys again for bearing with me for this month with a lot of crazy things going on and trying to get as much content as possible. I'm like in the middle of editing three different videos, like trying to just get stuff ready to go for you guys. So thank you so much for your patience. I love you all so, so, so much. Let's go graduate college. That vlog will be up soon. Ah! Love you all. Bye.